Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, the Wombat! Much love for me to you guys. How's it going? I have learned a lot in the last, I don't know, I think it's been two, a little bit over two years maybe that I've been doing this YouTube thing. I love it, it's great, it's fun, it's exciting. Sometimes there's drama, but <laughs> other than that, it's okay, it's good. And you know, I've learned a lot of stuff from people passing on things that they've learned so I just wanted to pass on some of the stuff that I've collected on to you guys. I've seen a lot of people making videos and a couple people ask me, you know, they, they start talking about buying expensive ring lights and soft boxes and camera lighting and backdrops and all kinds of stuff. And it adds up quick, trust me. I, I, I do stuff as cheaply as I can, but still try to maintain a, a level of quality. So. One of the things that I learned from other people and I tried using them and it works for me and I've done some other tweaks of my own to it, it works extremely, extremely well. Right now, I just want to talk about lighting. I'll talk about some other things. If you like these kind of videos, let me know and I'll do some more of these. But when it comes to lighting, some people have some lighting in their house that's just like mm, perfect, beautiful. Like it's been said by countless people on here, if you have a window or can get outside, use natural lighting. See, look at this, look at how great this looks. Except for being in my eyes, it just like, see, it, it's just great. There's a little bit of shadowing and stuff and you know, but if you're inside and you're filming when it's cloudy or perhaps you're filming when it's nighttime, <laughs> like a lot of times I do, working full time, get home, do a couple things, say hi to the wife, get a bite of dinner, and then go to make, a food review or whatever I happen to be doing, I will go out to my garage and I got some lights set up there. Or sometimes there's a corner of our dining room where I have my computer, I do my editing and I'll do stuff there. But one thing I found, and I've bought a few of these because they're pretty cheap and you don't just buy all, you know, if you try buying all your stuff in one shot, you're either going to forget something, which I do, or you're going to be in a haste and, and not buy the things you want to do. For starters, these are recommended by a lot of people. These are eight and a half inch reflector lamps. You can get them at Home Depot. You can get them at Walmart where I'm at right now. The reflector screws off and it has a clamp on there and it's adjustable. See, it's like this way. And then it, you can kind of adjust it down like so and make it stick out. You can unscrew the reflector, put it off on. It works great. But what I do with these is I'll use one of these with daylight bulbs. These are LED bulbs, which is great because they don't flicker. Like fluorescent lights and some other ones, they have a little bit of a flicker. Sometimes your eyes won't notice it, but your camera will. So I highly recommend these. These are very inexpensive. These are just a Walmart brand. You can use anyone. Most important thing, daylight bulbs. Daylight, not soft white, not reveal, not plant lights soft white the other ones will make you have a yellow yellowish tint and these right here these are 5000 kelvin it's a cooler color which you want once you start getting to the warmer scales you'll start adding more yellows and reds to your face stuff if that's an effect you want then do that but for most stuff go with the daylight bulbs reflector light and what you want to do is put parchment, this is parchment paper, over the front of your light. Just get some clothespins, pull off a sheet a little bit bigger than what you need. I usually, what I like to do is I pull off a long sheet, and then I'll double it over and I'll clip it. Usually just one on top is good. You don't want the paper touching the light. Parchment paper works best because it can handle a lot of heat. Wax paper tends to melt. Other things tend to melt if they get too close to the light bulb. Even though it is only putting out 17 and a half uh, actual watts, it can still get a little warm. Parchment paper, safest way to go. And you know, you get a couple of these parchment paper. You can get them different places. This is like, I think, three bucks for a roll, which will last you like a long time. These bulbs are like 12, 15 bucks, I think. You get a pack of four, they last for, what did it say, nine years. You're guaranteed at least nine years out of these suckers. Clothespins, 
get a pack of these. These were like a little bit more. These are about two bucks because I use them for backdrops and stuff. But you get a smaller pack of these for like 99 cents. So it's it's easy to do stuff on the cheap, get good results. I'm just using the lighting here at Walmart. It doesn't look too bad. I'm just using my, my cell phone. So hopefully that will help you guys get started. If you're doing stuff in your garage and you just have the fluorescent strips, you can change those out with LED daylight bulbs and it helps a lot. And then I've also noticed too for, for about 20 to 25 bucks, you can get a dual bulb four foot strip with daylight LEDs already in it ready to go. And the new, the new LED uh, shop lights, they don't have the ballast so you don't have the flicker there either. It's great. Highly recommend those things. If you guys have some things that have been working for you, let me know so I can share that with other people. Again, hopefully this will help you guys get started, lighting stuff better, getting more creative. And then when you start doing stuff with the parchment, you can get pieces of uh, clear cellophane, not clear cellophane, what am I saying? The transparent cellophane, but the different shades and make some gels or even some colored plastic. As long as you have the parchment to separate it from the light bulb, you can do some interesting stuff. Get creative, start shooting, and have fun, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching this, and don't forget to like and subscribe, pass this on to your friends, and look for my second channel. See you guys later. Bye-bye.